Intel NUC, one of the smallest and most powerful computers I've come across, and I thought it was a joke, like how can something this small, smaller than a can of drink, and be powerful enough to run most of the things I need, and it does. But only one, then I discover one little problem, and that's it's, it get way, way, way too high, down 100 degrees easily. And when, once the fan kicks in, it's loud as hell, so that really drove me bonkers. So I decided um, get a, I had one unit, then I got another unit just to see, make sure it wasn't my unit that's too loud and too hot, and that's sort the of stuff. Second unit does the same thing, way too hot, and get 100 degrees easily. So I decided to take it apart and modified it. Either that or I have to put them aside and not, never ever touch them again. So there we go, because um, I'm not good with like, uh, lots of noise. With the first unit, I got a heat sink and attached it to the um, vents on top of the vents. And I go with a pla you can make sure you get with a plastic on top of the, um, the copper vents so that way the copper's exposed. So you can um, put some heat paste on there, thermal paste, so it. Um, Transfer the heat better, so there we go. And there's the fan on top of it. And the fan is so quiet, I couldn't even hear it. And even just with the heat sink on its own, I don't even need to um, have any of the fans going. If I'm not doing anything intensive, that stays around about 30 degrees. And I've been testing this one for over five hours. And that's using CPU-Z, and we've been 72 degrees the maximum, so that's not too bad from 100 degrees, or over 100 degrees. And the minimum is about 29 degrees. And it sits about 71 degrees, 70 degrees. And the CPUs are at 100%. And there we go, so we go to so Intel NUC. The models I've got in front of me is the NUC 7i7BNB. There you go, it's so that one there. And this one here, the second unit, I actually go into the what they call the vents and open up each one of the vents. So there's um, the fins that are exposed to the top so the fan can blow down onto it. And this one is with a, um, this is a CPU fan, so it's a 120 mil. And in that one's a little bit more work because I got a, um, like, cut each one of the fins open inside um, what they call it, the, um, the vent, so that way the air can get to it. And in that one there, I actually use a um, 5 volt to 12 volt step up converter inside it from the USB header, so that way, so that can get the fan going, and that one is just stay nice and cool as well too, but this one here, half the time, no fans are needed, and that still stay nice and cool as well. But on full load, so at least 72 degrees, as we can see. And we've been going for 5 hours and 8 minutes. So that's not too bad, I suppose. At least now I don't get annoyed the crap out of me by the um, audio or the sound. And I can still use it. And it's quite handy. This one with the heat sink doesn't fit in my pocket anymore, but this smaller one over here, it still does. So that makes life a lot easier. So I can just carry like all my studio work and everything else wherever I go is in my pocket. So that's a great computer. Now that it's really quiet, so done.